Hi friends, it's Nicole here today for Lawn Fawn and today I am sharing this great pumpkin Thanksgiving card featuring the new tiny gift box peacock and tur turkey add-on part of the new fall and winter 2019 release. Now I'm calling this the great pumpkin card because I knew when I started that I wanted to use this turkey in a scene card rather than using it on the tiny gift box. By the way, how cute would those little turkeys be as play settings for Thanksgiving um, when created in the gift box? So those are very cute as is, but I tend to like to also see if I can use them on cards. And I do it all the time with each new add-on that Lawn Fawn comes out with. I find a way to incorporate those into my card making for die cut scene cards. So we're using the turkey version, not the peacock today, but this die set will make a peacock as well. But when I was playing around, I knew I also wanted to use the brand new outside in stitched pumpkin, which I'm inking here with some of the pumpkin spice Lawn Fawn ink using an ink blending brush. And it's so much bigger than the turkey that it really reminded me of Charlie Brown and the great pumpkin. And so that's why we kind of came to this name of the card today. In addition to the pumpkin and the turkey, we're also going to be using some outside in stitched apple stackables. I'm inking that with some of the cranberry Lawn Fawn ink. And we're going to use some previously released small stitched leaves. These all are very fall themed, work really nice with the fall feeling that I'm going for for this card. So I'm using new and old. I have heard and had lots of feedback from many of you in some of my more recent videos where I've talked about combining new and old product. And the vast majority really enjoy that, like seeing new ideas. Um, for products you might already have and ways to incorporate them with the brand new products you might be picking up. So I think the apples and the pumpkin and the leaves all work together so nicely to build this scene card with our adorable little turkey. I am going to continue inking up all the little pieces. This is adding depth and dimension. You definitely could leave this step out and this card is going to go together even faster. I am using, as I mentioned, for anything that was die cut from the canned pumpkin Lawn Fawn cardstock, we, <coughs> pardon me, are using pumpkin spice ink and applying it with the ink blending tool. That's going to be the pumpkin, one of the leaves, and then some of the feathers for our turkey. For anything that was die cut from the Lawn Fawn chili pepper cardstock, we are going to be inking that with Lawn Fawn Cranberry ink. That's going to be an apple, a leaves, and feathers for the turkey. Then anything that was die cut from the Lawn Fawn number two pencil cardstock, that's going to be our yellows, the yellow apple, the feathers, the leaf. We are going to be inking up the apple with some Lawn Fawn artichoke ink. So that's going to have a little bit of a green tint to it. Then for the feathers and the leaf, we are going to be inking that with Lawn Fawn Walnut ink. Um, so it has more of a brown tone to it rather than green. Or that's just the feathers. I'm so sorry, pardon me. The leaf and the apple are both going to be inked with artichoke ink. So that's what you're seeing here. And that's going to give it kind of that nice fall uh, green feel to it. Adds just a little touch of color, a little shading to those pieces. Makes them not quite so harsh yellow. I'm going to continue inking up all of these little pieces here. I really much like to die cut everything and then kind of come and do the next step, kind of assembly line style. So then I'm inking all of my pieces. Then I'll ink my background and finally I'm going to put it all together and that's going to be assembling from back to front our scene card. So with the exception of the outside in stitched pumpkin and the tiny gift box peacock turkey add-on, everything else is, is a, an older product from Lawn Fawn. That's going to include our large stitch, stitched rectangle, which I use all the time, 
That's going to be the stitched hillside borders. That's going to be the ground along the bottom edge. Again, I use all the time. That will also include our outside in stitched apple stackables. That will also be the small stitched leaves. And finally, our picket fence border. Walnut ink is being used for the brown pieces on our turkey as well. So the brown cardstock pieces that you see here are Lawn Fawn Chocolate Bar cardstock. The stems and the turkey were all die cut from this color of cardstock. The ground borders with the stitched hillside borders there, that is Lawn Fawn paper bag cardstock. So a little bit lighter in color so that our turkey will really stand out. I didn't want it to be the same color so that it blended completely in. You might also notice that I am cleaning my work surface after I ink each color so that I'm not accidentally picking up color from my glass mat and transferring it to eat the new items I am coloring. I didn't really want to add a bunch of brown. Now these leaves, the pumpkin leaves and the leaves for the apples, were inked with artichoke ink. These are die cut from Lawn Fawn Noble Fur cardstock. So all card, all cardstock, all ink, all dyes, everything you see here is from Lawn Fawn today. Looks like we have got everything as far as the die cut pieces inked and next I want to add an interesting sky background which I have die cut smooth white cardstock using that large stitched rectangle die. This is A2 sized, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We are going to take some Lawn Fawn Deep Sea ink. This is a different color than what I normally use for skies, but I think this blue works really nice with the muted autumn colors that we're using for a card. And then I'm taking a My Favorite Things mini cloud stencil. So as far as implementing anything from other companies. It's really just this stencil here today. Um, one of my most often used products, really. I use it all the time in card making, uh, both the large and the small. And we're just going to keep flipping it around and build up this beautiful cloud background so that we can create our little pumpkin patch in front of this. Once I have used my stencil and added my clouds, I am going to just take my ink tool and go around the edges and kind of deepen and darken that just a tiny little bit, just around the top. We don't have to worry about the bottom. That's going to be covered with our stitched hillside borders. Now we're going to clean the work surface off and we are ready to put it all together, starting with our borders. Now I did not put adhesive along the top edge of that because I will be tucking our picket fence back behind this border. Both of the stitched hillside borders are going to go in front of this, but I wanted to add the border so I knew exactly where to put this. I'm using some of the Lawn Fawn double-sided 1 8 inch tape on the back of my fence and I'm going to just kind of carefully tuck this back behind that border. So we've got our stenciled cloudy sky, a picket fence, and then two borders. When I go to add the next border, I'm also not going to place it or put adhesive along that very top edge because this is where we're going to tuck our pumpkin, an apple, and a leaf. I like having a couple of borders as it provides that area where you can tuck things in, which was really important to me with this card. Before we go any further, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiments on my pumpkin. When I was laying out the dies for this card, I knew my pumpkin, the great pumpkin, it's kind of a focal point as far as the biggest item on my card, and it's going to serve as the perfect place for sentiments. I'm going to combine Have a Happy Thanksgiving from the Lawn Fawn Cutie Pie stamp set with the Lawn Fawn tree before and after sentiment, thankful for you. Our sentiment is going to read then, have a happy Thanksgiving, thankful for you. 
perfect sentiment, a great little maybe card to give the host or hostess of your Thanksgiving dinner, or just a great card to send to anyone that you're thankful for around the holiday. I'm going to stamp that with clear embossing ink, the Lawn Fawn Clear Embossing Ink. Sprinkle on some Lawn Fawn White Embossing Powder and then we are going to heat set this. I did use my powder tool, so that's that powdery substance you see in the background. Once you have heat set your sentiment, make sure your cardstock has cooled and that the embossing powder has cooled because if you touch it too soon it can smear. And then I like to just kind of buff away that powder with a dry rag. You could also use your finger if you wanted to. So let's tuck our pumpkin in, since it's our biggest element. We're going to tuck it in our pumpkin patch, and then I'm going to take my turkey, kind of just make sure everything's fitting really well before I go and press that pumpkin in place. If I need to make any adjustments, now is the time to do that. And then we're going to adhere our apples, kind of tucked down here next to the pumpkin, and see how they fill in that space so nicely the leaves and the pumpkins that just add such a great fall feel and flair to the card. We're adding some stems to our apples. I'm using some tweezers and then the Lawn Fawn glue tube, the absolute best liquid glue. I absolutely love it. I use it all the time for everything. Then we're going to tuck our little leaves for our apples and finish building our apples down here. And then we are just going to put together the rest of the card. Most of this I did off camera just to save a little bit of time. We're going to assemble the stem leaves, the little curly cues vines coming out at the top of the pumpkin. Real quick, I do want to mention about my pumpkin. I have two different sized leaves. And you may notice in the outside in stitched pumpkin, there's only the bigger one. I got that smaller one from the Lawn Fawn Stitched Pumpkin. So there are two different pumpkin designs part of the fall, fall winter 2019 release. That's how I got those. That's also how I got different curly cues. The outside in stitched pumpkin has one. The stitched pumpkin has two. I used all three plus both leaf designs from those. So mix and match. I've also assembled my tiny gift box turkey including the little pilgrim hat. And I'm going in with a white pin now and adding highlights. I do want to mention really quick about the turkey body. I actually adhered the body portion with foam adhesive to the feathers so that it was raised up and gave that turkey a little bit more depth and dimension. You could also adhere it flat if you want to. I've added white highlights to the eyes, to the nose, added some to his cheeks, and then we're just adding white highlights to the leaves, the fruit, um, just all, and then even one on that pumpkin. It's going to add a nice little finishing touch. I tried not to go too crazy, too overboard here, but just added some little white highlights here and there. We're going to take this whole panel then and attach it to a white side fold card base. And then we are going to finish with some little tiny hearts, which is always one of my favorite things to do. And those are from the Say What gift tags stamp set. We're going to adhere those and finish those with glossy accents as well as add glossy accents to the beak on the turkey. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this great pumpkin Thanksgiving fall themed card featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.